All right, welcome to another lesson. Now let's just get started right now. And uh, suppose a, ba a base 10 flat represents one whole. And I have this picture here. What fraction does this picture represent? And if you were to make a decimal based on one flat, what decimal names this amount? Okay, so today we're gonna talk about um, a hundreds grid. And you've probably dealt with these before. And like I said before, base 10 blocks, um, the flat is 100 block or 100 squares inside so that's keep that in mind that's our whole our one whole and we're gonna we're gonna describe this four different ways and we're gonna focus on one in particular so we're gonna compare the number of green squares to the number of squares and believe me or not there's 45 out of 100 squares green so we could say that as one of the ways to describe this picture 45 out of 100 squares are green we could write this as a fraction, and I, I think you guys have done this before. And uh, again, to describe the way the smart board works here, this is 45 out of 100 could be used to describe that picture on that hundreds grid. I could write this as a decimal, and I have 0 0.45 or 45 hundredths of this grid is green. Now, I hundredths, 45 hundredths, that's an important term. And this right here, is the hundredth spot. How many squares do we have all together? We have a hundred. And this word, this number hundred is gonna come up a lot today's lesson. We can write it as a percent, as a percent. And we can say that 45% of the grid is green. And percent is another name for hundredths. And if you are into etymology like I am, you like words, well, this word here, this comes from Latin, and we use it in French as well. It means 100, okay? And if you say per 100, we could say that is uh, describes the picture. And we use this symbol, this kind of symbol over here, and if it helps you to remember this, I like to think of out of 100, okay? Whatever a percent is describing, it's always out of 100. A percent is a special ratio that compares a number to 100. 45% means 45 out of 100 or 45 per 100. We can also describe that blue part of the grid in the same four ways. So if there was 45 that were green, that means that 55 out of 100 squares are blue. 55 out of 100, you know, 55 hundredths of the grid is blue as a fraction. 55 hundredths as a decimal is blue and 55% of the grid is blue. So I'm going to get you to try this. I have three colors here. I want you to write each color as a fraction, out of, as a decimal, and as a percent. Take a couple minutes and figure that out. All right, so we have three colors. So I have a green, I have a red, and I have a white. So let's talk about the green first. Okay, green. Now green, uh, we got a count here. So uh, I know there's 10 here in that row here. I know there's 10 in this row here and 10 in this one, just because it's a hundred grid. I do know that there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that is a total of 16. And that's all of it. So I have 46, 46, now 46 as a fraction, 46 hundredths as a fraction, 0 0.46 or 46 hundredths as a decimal. Remember, this is the hundredth spot that that digit six has to end in the hundredth spot. And as a percent, 46 percent. I have a 10 here, I have a 10 here, and I have a 10 here, and I have four in the middle. So I have 34 hundredths as a fraction, 34 hundreds as a decimal, and if you haven't guessed yet, 34% okay, out of 100. White, well, I have 10 and I have a 10, okay? So as a fraction, that's 20 out of 100 as a decimal. And oh, what am I gonna do here? That's a 10th spot, I have to add another digit. 20 has to, 20 has to end on the hundredth spot. And as a fra, as a, sorry, as a percent, 20%. So on all, I should, I had, 20% of it is white. I had 34% of it as red, and I have 46% as green. Now, what is important is that these should add up to 100. So 
Um, the the four and the six is another ten. Three plus four is seven. So this is eighty percent between these two guys. Plus that is a hundred percent. We've done it right. There we go. Just remember, in life, math happens. Take care.